When you're ready to put a top coat on your woodworking project and you're going to brush it on, it's very important that you choose the right brush for what you're doing. You are not going to get a million dollar finish out of a one dollar brush. Everything I've got here I got at home centers, so this stuff is readily available, but you got to look for it a little bit. First, let me talk about what the tip of the brush should look like in the perfect world. In the perfect world, we'd like to have what's called a chisel tipped brush. What that means is that this has been shaped up like this, up like this. Think about what this is going to do for you. As you're spreading your finish, it's going to concentrate the contact here, making it a lot easier to level that finish out, make sure that you have a good flowing coat. So that's one feature to look for. Now, let's look at bristles specifically. I'm going to use this one as an example. What you want in the bristles is a bristle that is thick at the ferrule end and thinner down at the tip. What that does is it gives the brush flexibility so that as you're spreading your finish, it's easier to get a level coat. Additionally, when you look really, really closely at that bristle, you'd like it to be flagged. What that means, these are like split ends in your hair, not a problem I have, but what that split does is it allows the tip to hold more finish. So that once you're dipped and applying, it's going to flow out better because you have more finish on the bristles. So chisel tipped, tapered, big at the ferrule, small at the tip, flagged, meaning they're split. Now the other thing that you want to pay attention to is natural bristles, that's what I've got on this brush, versus, versus synthetic bristles, that's what I've got on this one. With all of your solvent based finishes, like lacquer, shellac, and varnish, you can use either a natural or synthetic bristle brush. As a general rule, the natural bristle is going to make it a little easier to level your finish. If you're going to a water-based finish, you want to stick with the synthetic bristle. The reason for that is that the natural bristle, these hairs, have a tendency to get a little too soft and you start to lose control of being able to film the finish out. So, shop for a brush, look at them closely. Like I said, everything I have here I got at Home Center, so they are out there, but you got to look closely at the brush. Make sure you're getting the right one for the job to make sure the job you do on your finish is a good one.